Hey YouTubers, this is a video of three of the series on restoring and rebuilding a Hammerhead GT150 go-kart. I'm putting a Predator 420cc engine 13 horsepower on here. And um, this is going to be the unboxing and running break-in of this engine. If you're buying this engine just to use it for stuff other than go-karts, that's fine because I'm going to go through the whole um, break-in process and adding oil and everything. So, hope you enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put some oil in it here. And they don't come with oil, so if you have one, make sure you you put oil in it. It's pretty important. Let's see here. It takes 1.16 quarts, which isn't a lot. It's like Show us the oil you're putting in there. Inch. Oh, it's SAE 10W30, full synthetic. Yeah, it's not complicated. It's not a Lamborghini. No. All right, so the oil's in now, and you want to check your oil level um, one more time once you've added your oil, which I've already done. And these do have low oil cutoffs, which is another Honda thing that they have because these are Honda clones. What is? And um. There's two oil fillers you can use, whichever one you want to. Um, it's just so you shouldn't it's... really have to worry about oil. It's just one quart and then a dab of another quart. Now I'm going to um, rig up a battery um, and put gas in it. And it does say that you can use ethanol if you want to, but no E85. You can't use the racing gas. Okay, so now I'm going to put some gas in it. And. Once again, it says you can use ethanol, but personally, I would use non-ethanol. It's much, much better for engines. Um, they'll last longer. Now, it does have a filter and a red um, plastic piece to tell you where to fill it up to. Alright, so this does have electric start, but it's a lot of wires to hook up, and so I'm not going to do that right now, but I will later when I actually install it. So, you want to make sure that your fuel is in the on position, which it is, and you want to close that um, when you're storing it. Turn my choke to um, start, just like that. Make sure your key is in the on position, and if you would just turn it there to start it with electric start, but I'm going to um, start it manually. And then your throttle... That's slow, and it says to put it at about one third, so about right there. All right. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos on installing this. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it, and comment if you have any questions.